na utapia mlo. Kila mwaka tarehe 16 ni siku ya kuadhimisha chakula duniani na maadhimisho ya mwaka huu yakijiri huko takriban wa Kenya milioni 3.5 wakikabiliwa na bala njaa. Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa akihudhuria hafla ya siku hii katika kaunti ya Kajiado amesema kuwa msaada zaidi utatolewa na serikali kuu. It is clear that we must make significant transformative and sustainable changes to our agricultural strategy and do so urgently given the pace at which climate change is impacting our agriculture. In the immediate term, our first priority is to reduce suffering and over the last one month, we have supplied relief food to vulnerable families and set aside 900 million Kenya shillings for more. We project to distribute 90,000 bags of rice, 100,000 bags of beans and 10,000 cartons of beef. Kulingana na naibu rais taifa la Kenya limekumbana na ukame uliotokana na kukosa mvua kwa misimu minne hali ambayo inaashiria dhahiri shahiri athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. We are country facing a staple food deficit particularly maize, wheat, rice and potatoes that demands urgent intervention. To address this we have adopted an agricultural value chain approach to priority crops livestock and fisheries as outlined in the agricultural sector transformation and growth strategy. Mwezi uliopita Rais William Ruto alitoa msaada wa magunia 1,200 ya mchele na 1,200 ya maharagwe katika maeneo yaliyoathirika zaidi na bala njaa. Kulingana na Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa FAO Kudongyu, ukosefu wa chakula toshilezi unazidi kushuhudiwa duniani. Rising food prices affect all of us but the impact are felt the most by the vulnerable and by the countries already experiencing a food crisis. Huku suluhu ya muda mfupi ikitolewa na serikali ya taifa ni matumaini.